Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Why don't we give God the glory and praise? Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Lift up your voice unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Don't wait for somebody else to do something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Speak the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. While you can. Hallelujah, Jesus. We honor you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you have your Bibles with you, amen, I respect everybody and respect all the pastors and ministers in the house. Amen. I love you all. Amen. So glad to be here. Great opportunity. Amen. That has given to me. Amen. I don't take, take this lightly. Amen. So blessed uh, to see my pastor. Amen. Pastor Jerome and his family. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless. I bless. I am so blessed. Amen. With this family. Amen. I'm so glad to uh, be with my fiance. Amen. Sister April. Hallelujah. Can you just? <laughs> I felt it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Turn your Bible to the book of Joel. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The presence of God is really here. Amen. The Spirit of God is here. Amen. Not because uh, the preachers are here, not because of the pastors are here, but because, hallelujah, God is everywhere. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And He can move mightily. Amen. Joel chapter 2 verse 1. Hallelujah. I respect the time, so we're going to, I'm going to put a timer, but I still respect the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Joel 1, blow ye the trumpet in Zion. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Verse 12. Now therefore saith the Lord, turn to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. So rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for He is gracious and merciful slow to anger and great kindness and he relents from doing harm 14 who knows if he will turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him a grain offering and a drink offering for the lord your god blow the trumpet in zion cons consecrate a fast call a sacred assembly 16 gather the people sanctify the congregation assemble the elders rather the children uh, gather the children and nursing babes uh, let the bridegroom go out from his chamber and the bridegroom her dressing room verse 17 let the priests who minister to the lord weep between the porch and the altar let them say spare your people O lord and do not give your heritage and report uh, to reproach to that that nation should rule over them why should they say among the people where is their god verse 18 then the lord will be zealous for his land and pity his people hallelujah put your bibles down and lift your hands and your voice hallelujah towards heaven come on somebody hallelujah lord Speak right now in Jesus' name. Let your glory, O oh God, be seen into this place, not the speaker, not somebody else, but your presence, your holy power, O oh God. Your name, hallelujah, should be glorified. Hallelujah, we honor you tonight. Hallelujah, let the, the anointing in the spirit flow into this place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everybody say in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Clap your hands unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on and give Him praise. Amen. Turn your neighbor and says, you look good today. Turn your other neighbor and says, you look so wonderful. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You can be seated. Amen. In the presence of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. 
I want to give this uh, a short message, a title that says, Blow the Shafar. Everybody say, Blow the Shafar. Amen. Hallelujah. I ordered online. I ordered uh, a shofar on Amazon. Amen. But uh, it didn't come here because I think they, uh, uh, they were cleaning it because they used it in the wall of Jericho. They tried to blow it and, and didn't come here. So uh, I tried to use my saxophone neck. Amen. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it would sound good. Amen. But we'll try. Okay. That's all right. Amen. Oh, <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So the sound of Shofar was first heard, uh, heard in the Old Testament when God speaking to Moses. And people are going to hear the sound of the Shofar. It's going to be a long blast. Amen. Exodus 19 verse 13. In Exodus 19 verse 19. Amen. The sound of the Shofar grew louder and louder. And Moses spoke and God answers him with a voice. And shofar is an ancient instrument of Judaism, the only instrument that made through a thousand years. Amen. And the Jewish trumpet or the Jewish shofar was made of a ram's horn. You can see on the picture that this, that's the actual, amen, ram's, ram's horn. Amen. And it's the essence of God's voice they used it to call to worship. Amen. It scatters and confuses and confuses the, uh, the works of the enemy. It is in the Bible time shofar was designed and used for four main purposes. Amen. Number one is to call to worship or a call to worship. And uh, the Jewish time they says it is a tekia. It is the sounds like this. A long blast. Second thing is a call to war. Or they call it terua, and it sounds like this. It's scatter, it's staccato. If you know, uh, if you learn, or if you uh, learn about the woodwind instrument, it's like this. Doesn't it? We're going to a war. <laughs> Next, second or third thing is a call to repentance, and it's gonna be like this. They call it tekia. Or, or Sheravim, it is a three medium blast, and it's like this. <laughs> Hallelujah. I feel it. And the last thing is a call to meet the king. And they call it Tekia Gedola. And it's going to be a one very long blast with a raised voice it's like this and it's gonna be loud <laughs> hallelujah can you play that blow uh blow the trumpet or blow shofar amen this is what god through joel amen was calling for uh for uh the the, the israelites twice in the book of joel amen joel 1 and joel 15 amen blow the shofar because in joel chapter 1 verse 4 amen uh, what the chewing locust left and the swarming locust has eaten. Amen. The swarming locust left and crawling locust has eaten. And what the crawling locust left, the consuming locust has eaten. Amen. We have to blow the shofar because a nation will come up upon Israel strong and without number whose teeth are the, as the teeth of lion and his jaws like those a great lion. Amen. Blow the shofar. They blow the shofar because uh, the branches will be made white. Amen. And the fields will be wasted and the new wine is dried up and the oil. Amen. Languishes. Amen. And connecting line to that. Amen. I came here tonight to tell somebody here today. It is time to blow our shofar and sound in the, the alarm of the, uh, the church of the living God. Hallelujah, because why we have to play that, why we have to, hallelujah, blow, hallelujah, our shofar. Can you play that video or sound, amen? He did better than me. Lower it a little bit, sir. When our world has come to 
55 types of gender instead of two we have to blow the shofar when people are becoming lovers of pleasures uh, rather than lovers of god uh, we have to blow uh, the shofar amen hallelujah when the people of god forget about uh, how they greet people are they are they gonna shake hands or are they gonna do this and do that we have to blow uh, the shofar hallelujah when we are more scared to get the virus uh, instead of laying of hands uh, of people that is sick uh, hallelujah we have to blow uh, the shofar when our educational system is teaching hallelujah the immorality is just okay it's good uh, instead of teaching this generation the principle of the word of god we have uh, to blow the shofar uh, amen when the people come to church uh, and just be entertained by the preachers uh, of the, of the of God instead of being hungry and thirsty for the word of God we have to blow our shafar come on somebody when the prayer room is empty we have to blow we have to blow our shafar hallelujah when the church is waiting for the worship leader to start worshiping God we have to blow the shofar when God is not moving anymore in your private life we need to blow the shofar when there's two people who died and go to eternal damnation every single day we have to blow the shofar and it is time to get on our knees and blow our shofar and sound the alarm of the church of the living God. A first call is a call to worship. Blow ye the trumpet and sign, sound the alarm in the holy mountain. Let the inhabitants of the, the land of temple for the day of the Lord coming, for it is the night hand. You know, in Joshua chapter 3, hallelujah, in Joshua chapter 6, before the, before the day they destroyed the walls of Jericho, hallelujah, Joshua declared a faith unto the people. He says in Joshua chapter 3, verse 5, and Joshua said to the people, Sanctify yourself, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. When they're about to get, when they're about to destroy the wall of Jericho, they walk around the city once for six days. Amen. And on the seventh day, on the seventh day, the Bible says, when they hear the sound of the trumpet, when they hear the sound of Shafar, <laughs> it's funny, huh? <laughs> They walk around the city and when they hear that so far, they would shout with a great shout. And on that seventh day, amen, hallelujah, when they shouted, the walls of Jericho fell down flat. Come on, somebody. You know what? The walls of Jericho fell down flat, not because 